Now what we left here is we haven't styled the input box and also the button. So now we are going to style these two things. So first we back to the job zoom dot js and we go to the input field and which is here. And at this place we go to add the styles. And this is using the Tailwind CSS. And now we have the border and this is rounded so if we save it now you should see this is a round corners appeared there is a slight broader and we also make the focus when is zero so if we click on this there is no wing appeared and the width is full which is 100 percent and the test is extra small so you can see the placeholders the test is smaller than before and it has some paddings and which is using P3 the paddings three units and we use vertical so, so we go to the button and then we go to add the class name and the hoover is background blue and the test is blue so if the mouse over it it will become blue in colors and when I mouse over it, the test will become white in color. So it has a white test and blue background when mouse over it. So now you can see if we mouse over it, the test color become white and the background color will become blue. And if we do not mouse over it, it will have the blue test color. And the font is semi bold and you can see the padding. Horizontal padding is smaller than the, the vertical padding is smaller than the horizontal padding. So now you can see this is smaller and the padding on the horizontal is greater. And the border is blue in color. And it also has the round corner. So now you can see the style of the buttons and also we also start the input field. So now if we drop a picture and then we type the title and post again. Now you can see it appeared on the right side and so we finished how to create the drop zones and load the title and also the picture from the Firestore.